Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. Last time we got some uh, setup of oil processing going. So that was really nice. I don't know why they're not processing right now. Uh, we have crude oil. Uh, I guess the pipes are full. No, not really. Hmm. Okay. A couple of them are. Four of them are. Three. I guess uh, it'll be fine. Uh, so what I think I will do, uh, I can't because I don't have any engine units. So what we could do is make some engine units and then uh, make some pumps. What do we need to make some engine units? Steel, iron gears, and pipe. That's not too bad. And what are we missing? Uh, uh, we actually have everything. We just needed to need to put it in a machine. So let's just set up a machine here real quick and set it to making some uh, engine units. And we will put down a couple of chests. Like that. And a power pole. And we'll stick gears in there and we'll put steel in there. I think I'll grab some more steel for it. There. And then we need an output means that we do need a power pull more. That's okay. This is just temporary, just to get some engine units. Which we have now. How is our power situation looking? Reasonably decent. Uh, we do need to get some more power soon. Uh, but that's not a big problem. But for, uh, for now, what I really want to focus on is getting uh, some red circuits going. And I also want to get the, our solid fuel up on our uh, bus and I think we'll put that uh, down here somewhere so here I think I want two lines of, uh, of plastic so let's see Just turn it right here and get it going up. Like that and like that. All right, so we have the solid fuel on the bus as well. And it's time to get those red circuits going, and we will do that over here. So let's just get rid of this stuff. It's probably going to be in the way. All right. So run this out. It doesn't need to go this far, but it doesn't matter. We we'll want it to go that far anyway. So let's see, what do we need to make red circuits? We need plastic bars, copper cable, and electronic circuits. We have electronic circuits right here on our bus. So we need to make copper cable. And uh, let's see, we needed four copper cable. Or one, yes. So let's get some copper cable production going. Uh, so this will produce two copper cable every half second. So that's eight copper cable that we're producing every half second. So that's 16 a second which means that we can supply 
quite a few of these machines. We could actually because the red belt can transport uh, 30 items a second, uh, which means that we could double up on this. C8. No. So, this, yeah, this produces two, so that's uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Uh, 20, 24, 28, 32, that'll be fine. So, yeah. That will be our copper cable production. Right here. That was a bit too many like that and then we need splitter here we actually made it a little bit too close but it'll be fine just bend this around like so and that's going up there we definitely need more copper production where do we have more copper we don't uh, we need to get it over there because uh, I think we've already set up everything here. Yes, and how much is left in, uh, in that? F only forty-seven thousand and only twenty-nine thousand iron. But we have that iron going, so we definitely need to hook up this uh, copper area over here, uh, which we can do. It's nice that we're getting so much vision now. It looks like we're going to have to bend our bus and go back or something. That's okay, we can do that. Uh, all right, so we need that copper over there. There's no doubt about it. We're going to have to go clear out these two bases, at least. Oh, we got concrete done. So let's research the chemical science pack. Yeah, let's research that. Okay, but uh, copper uh, we will figure out. So then we need the output for these. Like so, this rock needs to go. And so do these trees. And what I think I will do is uh, after this uh, let's just set up the inserters whoops we actually just need the regular inserters no we don't we we do for the uh, red circuits but for the copper cable we definitely need blue ones and do like this so that uh, these first four they go on uh, one side and uh, the next four go on the other side all right so that's that then we need to set up this production and how many can we supply with this we're producing 32 and they each need four copper cable every six seconds so that's a lot that's a lot uh let's see let's times that up so uh, uh, 24 24 should be able to support 24 red uh, circuit machines so let's see one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. So that's sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Is that right? Let's try it. This will be the output, and we actually, dang it, we need to leave one more space. <sighs> right. Never mind. Right, that was the chemical science plaque, plaque researched. Uh, let's research uh, electric engine. So let's just see, we will have the copper wire going up and then coming around and going down. Uh, and it will split as well somewhere to go around on the other side. And then we need, uh, let's see, two plastic bars and two electronic circuits. So they can come up on that side. And then we need the machines. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, and an output. And another twelve machines. All right, and this didn't need to go up that far. But we do need a splitter, and this needs to come around, and then, whoops, this needs to come up like so, and come down here and we will have the other input here. All right, so that's the setup. Uh, so let's get some input going like that. And we need long-handed inserters as well, which I think we might need now nah, because it takes six seconds. So we don't definitely don't need two of them. What's going on here? Oh, fine. I uh, thought I had messed up again, but I hadn't. I just haven't finished the the other input line. If I had messed up again, I might have just rage quit. Oops. And I deleted an inserter down there. So let's just go get that back in place before I forget. Like that. And then we need the output and we need more regular inserters. Hope these ratios are right, but I'm not, not actually 100% sure, but I think they are. 
All right. So let's uh, set up the power poles. So and of course some lights so we can see what's going on at night and we will put lights there 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 all right and then we need to hook up the inputs so we need bring this out and bring this out and where do we need the input to be be right there I am out of belt. That is not a big problem. And it needs to come one further. And then this needs to come in. And let's see. Splitter there. And we need that. Like so. And then we need this to come in on the other side, which we can do just like this. Uh, better there. And then, actually, this is the bottom belt on this line, isn't it? Uh, no, There's, we'll have two iron gear wheels and two green inserter or green uh, circuits. But for now, we can just do like this, and that'll be fine. Whoa, and it will not be fine. No, 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 because I hooked up steel instead of uh, plastic, which is what we need. Oh, well done. Let's grab all the steel off here. More? Nope. So, plastic is actually down here. Uh, let's see, steel is the top line there. So, let's just do like this. One, two, three, three, four, and plastic is the top line here. So we need a splitter there. There, that's much better. All right, so we have that input going. We just need to hook it up, whoops. There, and we need to do the same thing on the other side. So we need to go underground and where do we need to hook this up? Right here. that no needs to come over one so that and then we need a splitter here and an underground that And 
splitter down here. And there we go. Uh, electric engine is done. Let's get something else going. Uh, laser sounds good. Robotics sounds really good. Let's do robotics. All right, so plastic is going up there now. And so are iron gear wheels. And all we need to do is give it some power, I think. So let's do that by sticking a power pole right there and see what happens. Oh, I might want to configure these as well. That uh, sometimes helps if you actually want them to produce something. There we go. And we are producing red circuits. Fantastic. At a very nice rate right now, but that will change because we basically don't have any copper. Uh, so let's see, where do we want the red circuits? I think I want... I decided I wanted them uh, next to the steel, maybe. So I have two steel lines, and I don't think I reserved them for anything else, for the other two for anything else right now. So we will put red circuits next to the two steel lines that I'll have. So let's see. Now we need to bring this down. And actually bring it over. No, let's not do that. Let's go under here and then bringing it in that way. So red circuit. And we have red circuits on the bus. Fantastic. You can see now the the production has completely died because of uh, copper. So in the next episode, we are going to go hook up copper. Uh, let's see, how is the power looking now? It's looking pretty okay. And we also, we need to get uh, research going for, uh, where is it? I can find it. The next level of refining, advanced oil processing which we need uh, chemical science packs for. So that is also something that we need to set up. We've re just researched the chemical science packs, so that's nice. And they need solid fuel, one solid fuel, three advanced circuits, and two engine units. So they need quite a bit. That's okay. But all right, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, hit the thumbs up and give us a like. And uh, why not subscribe if you did so you don't miss out on future videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.